On November 7, Texas voters will decide whether to lower one of the highest property taxes in the country or not. Andrea Flores with more details. If Proposition 4 is passed, homeowners will receive a higher homestead exemption and pay less taxes. But public schools, on the other hand, may see less funding. Homestead exemptions lower taxes by removing part of a home's value from taxation. The proposed state constitutional amendment would more than double the amount exempt, from $40,000 to $100,000. Hidalgo County tax assessor and collector Pablo Paul Villarreal Jr. explains how this works. So for people that have never applied for a homestead, so well, why do I need to apply? Well, because if, if it goes up to $100,000 and your home is worth $200,000, then it's going to deduct $100,000, you're going to save about $1,000, and you're going to end up paying another Difference. Political science assistant professor Andrew Smith says almost all homeowners would see a decrease in their property taxes. Smith explains property taxes are the primary source of funding for public schools, and any cuts to property taxes is money that does not go to schools. That will offset some of the lost revenue from the property tax cut, but there's no, but that's also a temporary measure. That is not something that is going to continue long term. These property tax cuts will. He says the high number of proposed amendments may result in a lower voter turnout. Smith explains much of the wording in the propositions is vague and unclear, even when using the correct terminology. Not enough information out there about most of these that voters are almost operating blindly on a lot of these. And people don't want to make a quote-unquote bad decision one way or the other. So they simply just don't vote. In that. Now, it is in the hands of Texans to decide whether Proposition 4 will become a Texas constitutional amendment. For KVAQ-TV in Edinburgh, Andrea Flores.